officially moving in. And when I say moving in, not to an apartment house, whoop de whoop, to a school. Let me give y'all a little little mini tour this is gonna be the first day i probably work out of it i don't know yet we shall see but i'm gonna move some stuff in and then i'm gonna show y'all some little videos and pictures of the front i finally got the um the ac working which is why i haven't been in it and then i'm gonna do this a little outside but that's gonna be next we're gonna take care of that next and get a full wrap so I'm gonna give y'all a quick little 360 around the thing gives me all the space I need. So a quick tour of the thing. This is the entryway. Keep in mind, I am still working on a few things, but for the most part, everything is completely finished. I'm gonna do some touch up painting um, throughout the bus. And then I'm going to add in some um, like cleaning, just like little cleaning. So. As soon as you walk in, there is the driver's area. So a lot of things I want to do, of course, clean the glass, um, do some touch-up painting around the door, um, the dash area, do something with this chair. It looks insane. Um, but there is full hardwood flooring. The good stuff. All right, now, now we have... So what I love about this is, y'all, I made this. I made these wood countertops. So at first I was going to purchase countertops, um, but I thought about it and I was like, man, I could make something like this. I really didn't want to add more money to the budget more than I already had spent just for countertops and they get pretty pricey. Cause what I was looking at was some, um, butcher block and uh yeah we know that's pretty even for a small piece like there's no way to purchase small pieces you have to buy so much so anyway I end up designing my own and making these kind of tops out of some birch plywood and they turned out pretty nice so that is good uh also we were able to add this cool little um beer bottle opener that came originally on the fridge but took it off and put it on the side so if i'm ever having a little shing ding you know i got a little beer opener on the side uh next is the frigidaire mini fridge it gets cool pretty quick but there's enough to store like drinks you know a few snacks etc um so we'll start on this side so one of my favorite little features is this neon light that I have, and I'm actually gonna uh, plug everything up at the end and show you what that looks like uh, lit up. And then I have this like frame for, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cool little mural here, and then maybe I may do the frame of it gold, cause I really love that vintage look like so that may be a thing i don't know exactly what it is i'm going to paint but it's definitely going to be a thing and then i have a mini green wall another favorite thing of mine so those two things are going to be my two things that i work on next All right, now this is one of the benches, just kind of like a little waiting area in under it. 
there is storage area so I can store pretty much whatever I need extra things that I may not have space for up above and the thing about it was we added these like little locks to it because when I first um, finished everything I was driving it around and this would like pop up a lot and uh, it would make a really big mess so we added those and then on this side it's pretty much the same thing just a bigger bench um, in another storage area on the bottom there uh, under this one you see these wires hanging because I just uh, did a little project pretty proud of myself is I hooked up my fan and it is really nice it gets nice and cool in here um, so I'm gonna like hide these wires in here I just haven't got a chance to do it yet I wanted to make sure first that I knew what I was doing when I hooked it up but it works good let's cut this bottle off let's see This fan is a true. If you have any kind of camper or conversion RV max air fan, it's really good. All right. Anyway, back to the bench. So, if y'all wonder how I'm getting power, is I have a setup at the bottom of this bench, which is um, solar. So, and oh, and all of these these benches they pull out. I think I'm gonna need two hands to do it, so I'm gonna set this here and open these up. So under one, I'm gonna show you both. They both slide out and they pretty much make one big bench. Like if I want everyone to like lay this way, this one's pretty big, um, I will have the space to do so. So let me just show you. It's really big. And I, it'll be a wood, um, like a wood board here. So it'll cover all like the gaps in between. But under the bench, it's pretty messy right now because I am still learning um, how to do everything. But there's basically, you know, my solar panels, of course, are on the roof. At the bottom, I have my battery bank over here. There's um, three, 300... 300 amps what is it excuse me i get a little mixed up on the volts amps blah blah, blah. yes 300 amp hours because one of them runs at about 100 amp hours each i have a charge controller inverter that gives me about 3000 um watts and then i have a um fuse box that is running from my fan so that's something i just learned on this side i have the um power the outlet regular outlet power for you know whatever it is i need so right now it'll give me access to every plug on this side in my mini fridge and then on the other side it'll give me the plugs to the light and the other wall sockets so I have that, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna plug up both cause I really want y'all to see the, um, I'm gonna plug up both cause I really want y'all to see the, uh, the light. One of my favorite things on this bus also is that little light. Okay, I need to figure out another way to plug everything in cause I can't do it like that. But I might have to go grab a little box for it because it uses a lot of power when I use an extension cord. Just found that out. So I'm actually good. So anyway, I have this. Now these two windows are cool. I, I end up moving the uh, emergency exit windows all to one side and then cover the other one. So as I'm in here, this is my first day um, actually in it while it's completed. 
I'm going to add like different art pieces. So you may see some cool art in here, some skateboards, whatever, just some, some stuff to make it more different. You know, the countertops was the first thing and then I'll just keep going from there. Um, and then the cushions, they should be in here by tomorrow. I'm actually going to do a part two to this video because I want to show y'all um, the showcase that I will be at um, tomorrow. So I'm going to put all of that into one big video. So this is another feature that I didn't necessarily need, but I really wanted it. I thought it would be, you know, a nice touch. So right now it's a little messy because I'm still trying to figure out the wiring for my actual water set up to my pump. Um, everything's pretty much hooked up. I just need to figure out how um, to wire the pump. So basically what's going on is you see two tanks here, two six gallon tanks. One of the tanks will have fresh water in it and then the other tank will have the gray water in it. So it'll basically, the pump will push everything from the clean water up to the sink and then the drain will come down to this tank here, which will be the gray water. So that's pretty cool. You know, I got a little mini one, did me a matching countertop on this side. So there's one here and then there's one on top of the fridge. So, and then this fan, man, this fan keeps it nice and cool in here. So, that is that. we push this one back in. I don't want to open this one. You guys get the idea. Same thing on both sides. So, in here is another fan. Like, I, I, I had to do things that was pretty much custom, like, because I just wanted something different. I wanted it to be a true like art space. So this barnyard door, really cool to me, really cool. Now, I mean, because we are in the bus, it does tend to slide back, but I also, I always, excuse me, I always put something here to kind of like keep it stable, keep it from rolling, but it's pretty cool. I have these locks on the side pretty simple locks just screwed onto each side um, where I've added on both sides well actually I didn't add it Carlos added shout out to Carlos he'll probably never see this video but yeah so I have that on both sides let me try and come around here so you guys can see the full door pretty big really nice blue is one of my favorite colors if anyone was curious about that um now this is like a storage closet for me it is a bit junky like i said i'm moving in today so i will be cleaning this out now originally i did want to put like a mini you know little bathroom area um but the project man this project was just so long and stressful um right now it's just a closet maybe that for a while i don't know if i'm going to change it at any point because, like I said, the project was so long and stressful. Um, but it is pretty useful storage space for me. Um, that and under the benches. So, it may be like that for a while. So, I do have to lock these both. So, when I'm driving. Because when I drove the first time. When I say it messed me up. Because the dang door flew off on the other side in the middle of me driving i could not stop i did not want to react so i just had to keep driving but the door was on the other side of the bus by the time i made it where i was headed so that's when we seen like all the things we need to lock down scary ah right, last but not least this is the tattoo space it is one of my favorite spaces <laughs> of the little bus um i have a ink bed chair um it does pretty much wherever i need a tattoo i can do it all in this one chair which is pretty cool i do like that and to keep it in place we added these straps at the bottom which literally holds it there's no sliding around no flying across the bus those are some really good straps and they hold a lot of weight the chair is pretty heavy so it was really good to see you know that worked out um at the bottom there are locks on each wheel um, which I just lock them in place and I thought about bolting it down but 
uh, I know because the space is small I may need to maneuver the chair around so I didn't go with that option but this is it you know it, it lays down the legs come up it pushes sideways you can do bag tattoos all kind of stuff on that um, so that's pretty cool on the back is this cool little board I got from Ikea but I can basically like you'll see me move everything in but you know pens pencils whatever it is i need in here got some little clips for additional artwork there's these cool little bungee strings um and i can add in different like tattoo pictures or prints whatever it is i want to have there um i couldn't fit a toolbox so ikea also had this mini um like metal um locker which is pretty convenient it's actually pretty big stores a lot of things in it so I'm going to add some stuff in there today uh, I want to try and keep everything in like little bins just so it's not moving around too much I may add a little lock here because the shelf actually fell out one day when I was driving but I do like this little box and they put some stickers on it you know just add my little twist to everything uh, I have this mat so when I'm rolling my chair around I won't mess up my floors. Got that from Ikea. Also, thumbs up for Ikea. Uh, is right there. I got a full body length. Um, and also, if you're wondering, I'm... I'm about 5'5". Five, five. So, of course, I stand up pretty good. I had a friend come in, and he was 6 foot, so... Um, he was actually able to stand up full, like stand up straight in here. Uh, anything taller than like maybe 6'3", maybe a little tight. But we have two benches in the chair. You sit pretty low, so that's not an issue. One of my other favorite things is the skylight window. This is just why you're tattooing. Get you, you know, a nice little view of the clouds and whatnot. So I do like that. Um, there's also storage space up here just like a wood box that's built in uh, again there may be more things added so yeah you'll be able to see that um, and I think that's about it so Go, go, go. Uh, medium's cool. Can I, can I give you a phone number for the account? Jamba Juice is my favorite spot and I normally can't get any because there's none close but they have one here. I got a cool one. And I had to park on the side. I hate bringing the bus in lots because it's almost a bunch of cars and it's tight. So I kind of parked on the side of the street. And I just get Thank you.
I tried to run the fan. It's not as cool as I would like it to be inside, but it's better than without it. I'm going to have to figure out a solution for that. This Jumbo Juice is about to be so good. It's just on my match. park over here. I'm going to have to check that out one day. Let me see. I know the front door is locked. I accidentally shut it. This key. I got too many keys too. But 